Listen, okay, a lot of people don't like Fancy and Magic when they know it from D&D, but if you've read the Dinar stuff, Fancy and Magic is really cool, and they have an explanation for it in Rialto the Marvelous, the beginning of the book. I'm going to read you what a spell is, right? I've written it down. <clears throat> a spell, in essence, corresponds to a code or set of instructions inserted into the sensorium of an entity which is able and not unwilling to alter the environment in accordance with the message conveyed by the spell. These entities are not necessarily intelligent, nor even sentient, and their conduct from the Tyro's point of view is unpredictable, capricious, and dangerous. The most pitiable and cooperative of these creatures range from the lowly and frail elementals through the Sandestans. More fractious entities are known by the Temuchin as Dihok, which include demons and gods. A magician's power derives from the abilities of the entities he is able to control. Every magician of consequence employs one or more Sandestans. A few arch-magicians of Grand Amothalum dared to employ the force of the lesser Dihoks. So here we're seeing like a math equation being stuffed into some sort of malevolent spirit, which then the magician memorizes that spirit like into their mind, right? And spits it out uh, to cast the spell. So uh, if you've got a really powerful spirit combined with a really useful math equation, you're getting a very powerful spell. And then the sort of willpower of the wizard to contain this entity is what determines, you know, how powerful a wizard is. So, you know, spell levels and level of character. It's just an interesting spin on it, kind of similar to what we see in some lore of like binding demons to perform magical feats for you. So that's why magic is like, that's why you can only have a few spells memorized, right? In Vancean system. And it is supposed to make magic weirder and more unpredictable. No, it's, it's interesting. It, it's just one of those things where people hate on Vancey and Magic because, well, or I should say D&D players hate on Vancey and Magic because the only thing that gets translated to D&D is you can memorize a couple of spells each day. Yeah. When actually Vancey and Magic is like this very cool theory of how magic is supposed to work that's like very, very like interesting and has all these weird philosophical ramifications and just none of that got translated to D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs>